What's up, you guys? What's up, you guys? We are here for another food episode, where which is our favorite episodes of all time. Yes, eating. Because we get to eat. And uh, this is one place that's very interesting. It's called, uh, how do you say it? Song Long? Yeah. That's how you say it? Song Long. Song Long. You said Song Long. I said Song Long. Sure, I don't know, honey. Yeah, you, you do know. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Uh, Lynn loses her Vietnamese when she gets hungry. I lose a lot of things when I'm hungry. Like her mind. Yes. <laughs> we first discovered a dish that has catfish and dill mm -hmm. in it. In a sizzling plate. In another place. And mm -hmm. it was good and we liked it and we went there. And then we discovered this place and it has the same dish there and it's really, 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 really good. Really? And they also have other stuff here that's really good too because it's like a Vietnamese French cuisine. Yes. Which, if you guys know much about Vietnamese food, a lot of it has a lot of French influence. Mm -hmm. So, uh, this that's a place, natural fusion. Yeah, it's a real fusion food. But this is something that I think is very natural. Like, you'd never really see dill in Asian food, period. Mm -hmm. So, this is uh, kind of cool to see. So, let's go Have eat some, some food. <laughs> so the first order of business in this French Vietnamese restaurant is bread. Bread and butter. Also known as butter. Butter. That's right, honey. Good job. Wow, that was so amazing That's of me. So proud of you. Butter is love. I know. Yeah. I'm not even being sarcastic. Yoi. Yoi. <laughs> Yes, us dietitians eat butter. The second order of business is here. Some papaya salad with a bunch of like jerk. turkey. The other dish that we wanted to get, I didn't actually have. Yeah. I think it's not in season. That's probably why. They usually have snails, coconut, so we're getting goi. Am I supposed to pour this on here? I think so. Wait, right. let's put some of the hot sauce and then put that so that oh. it can smear around. Oh, okay. You just put it all on it. I don't care. Oh, my bad. Didn't know you liked it like that. Ooh. Thank you. This kind of reminds me of the one we um, get from the vegetarian place. Oh, yeah, except not vegetarian. Yeah. <laughs> I got you both. I'm sturdy. Oh, uh, my bad. You want me to help? Sure. Sharing is caring. Sharing is caring? Helping is... Helpful. Helpful. <laughs> I didn't know that till just now. Really? Yeah. I was always wondering what help was. Cheers. 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 It's papaya salad. To me, this is like a dish that most people don't know. What? Boy? Yeah, like unless you have Vietnamese friends, you wouldn't know this. Um, there's a lot of um, different types of Vietnamese salads. It's all called goi. It's like fresh vegetables, and sometimes there's chicken in it, sometimes there's um, shrimp or seafood, whatever. But there's a lot of vegetables. And it's usually typically a cold dish. It's crunchy. It'll have like a main base. This one has papaya. We weren't ready for the main event. Whoa. Anyways, so, back to going. Basically what I was saying, there's usually some kind of crunchy base. And then a bunch of herbs. And then um, some peanuts in there. And some sauces. And it's just amazing. G-O-I. That's how you spell it. Goy. That's I wish I could eat Goy every day. Huh? I wish I could eat Goy every day. Why can't you? Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to make it. Um, you know how to make fish sauce? You know how to cut vegetables? I think so. 
then you can make one. That's how I make it. Well, I'll make it every day now. I have peanuts roasted in the fridge. I, I'm making it tonight. Bye. We are now onto the main attraction. Lena is prepping the fish sauce oh. with her use, very knife? useful butter knife. What kind of fish sauce is that? So this is actually not the um, fish sauce that you typically eat at a Vietnamese restaurant. It's more. It's a more fermented. Is it like? Fish sauce. Is it like? It actually is real like fish that were fermented. Yes. As if the other one's not. I mean, this like, one's like more so. It has like. I really don't know, but it's a. Um, I think it has like fish guts and stuff like that. But it's more of the fishy stuff, and it's dark. Like look at it. It's like dark brown. It looks like melted ice cream. <laughs> Sure, why not? Let's go with that. It doesn't taste like that though. It does not taste like that. It's, it has like a really fishy smell. Yeah. And uh, really fishy taste. I think it's, but it's bomb. quite delicious. I think this is also something that uh, if you're not ready for it, you'll be like, whoa. This is quite intense. But we're gonna show you what we do with this fish. We are gonna make spring rolls. Because why? Uh, spring roll all day. We like spring rolls. Okay, you dip the wrapper into the water. Take it out. Should we put the lemon on the fish? Sure. Alright, I'm gonna make myself useful. I feel like a chef. Wow, I'm gonna put some lemon juice in there. Fish sauce. Right. And now, and then, actually I could probably, yeah. probably kind of do a spring roll. Right. Trying to get my noodles. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Right. We're gonna assemble the spring roll. Noodle down. Noodle down. I will do this with one hand. Noodles. Vegetables. What's next? Whatever you want. There's no rules to it. Right. Vegetables. I like all of them. Vegetables, no vegetables. One thing I've learned with spring rolls is you can't go too crazy. It's like a burrito that you try to put too much rice or beans or like you notice these are like smaller too. It doesn't work very well. It's like when you're at Chipotle and you try to go overboard and your burrito explodes and then they have to give you two tortillas and it doesn't taste good anymore. Except that don't work here. The rice cracker. And here's what is interesting. What's interesting? Dill. Oh. You could put dill. This thing has fish. Dill. Caramelized onions, peanuts, and dill. Yeah. Yum. So it has a really nice, bright flavor. Aroma. And the stanky fish sauce brings it all together to one. into it you get first you get the texture of the cracker which is great 
then you get hit with the aroma of the dill, and then the herbs, and just everything together. So you get like fresh, Fish savory, crunchy. We should call this show what dreams are made of. The fish is like marinated in turmeric. And we know turmeric is amazing for all sorts of things. Anti-inflammatory, antiviral, antibacterial. My taste buds. Antioxidant. Your taste buds. Round two. This time, I'm gonna go in reverse order. I'm gonna grab. It's just when you go in reverse order, fish down first, it's gonna rip the thing. Oh, okay. It's I mean, too hot. I'm gonna listen to the experienced spring roller. And, uh, rice that, there, the rice. that's a protective layer. Now you can fish. Fish. Dill. Also known as Prao Tito. Oh, wow. <laughs> Let it go. Someone is trying to win all of these brownie points right now. Win? With all his Vietnamese words. Uh, Rao Rao. What? Easy. Do it. Good job. Yo. Ban Chang. Wow. Wow. I tried to say that at a restaurant when you weren't there and the lady brought me water. <laughs> you said what? I said, I, I get the, I was, I was trying to get, I was trying to get this. And, uh -huh. and then she brought me water. <laughs> and then I said, Pan Cheng, Pan Cheng. You can't think uh, that I said water. Oh, I was like, that doesn't water. sound like and water. Then, and I said, no, 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 uh, Pan Cheng. Pan? And then she brought me <laughs> hot sauce. <laughs> Say ban. Ban. Ten. Ten. Okay. I'll roll this real quick. I'm gonna combo it with the um, boy. Oh, snap. That's the next level. I know, huh? Wow. Oh. You're super cool. Just a little bit. Round two. This is so good. I've had this so many times, but every time it's so good. <laughs> this is like something you can eat every day. Really? Yeah, because it's like not heavy. It's balanced. It's all about balance. How is it? Oh, 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 oh,
a northern Vietnam dish. But growing up, I've never tried this in my life. Until that one year we were here, and I decided to give it a try. But um, it's a northern dish, so I've never had it. I even asked my mom about it. I don't think my mom's ever tried it. But did you eat like this though? Like meat and then... Yeah, not this specific dish. Like, I don't even know if my mom cooks with dill. I can literally eat anything else for you. I would take a rice or a mini meat. Even horse? Honey! No! Regular food. I would. Anyway, I would eat like things that you eat with rice. I would wrap it up into a spring wrapper and eat it. So it's like, I would layer rice down, layer some of this down, then layer the meat on top of it. Like I'll cook like slow cooked meat, Vietnamese stuff, and just wrap it all up and eat it. I could do that too. And we've done it where I've done it like literally just make some scrambled eggs <laughs> and just wrap it up. With Put a little bit of rice in there, a little bit of vegetables. Yeah. That was like a after school if um, we were on if we needed to get going, my mom would make that and then I would just have so the one we used to grow up with the rice wrappers were like this big. Uh, the handmade ones? Yeah. Uh, so they're like hella big. They're like 14 inch wide. But um, we would she would just make us one and just fill it up with something. And then we would get going. And we would eat it on the road like like a burrito. Lucky you. I know. My mom is pretty awesome. So, eating it with the rice wrapper is just how we eat it. But you can eat it a different way. Just grab some noodles. This is the OG way. This is the OG way. The OG way. OG way. You just combine the D and the O. <laughs> the OG way. She said the OG this way. This Lynn OG way. I don't know about me. Honey, that's the name of our vlog. Are you? Vince and Lynn of OG's oh. vlog. Oh, yeah. Vince and Lynn OG. You forgot, huh? Anyways, noodles, put as much as you can, as you want. I'm like getting full, so I don't, I can't eat that much. I'm just doing this for demo. Veggies. I like to shred it. Get some of that cracker. Break it up, break it up. Break it up, break it up. Put some of that stank sauce. In. Whoa. Stir it up. Oh man, I think I put too much tank sauce, but it's okay. It's okay, you salty. I am salty. I'm gonna put a little more noodles. Too much tank sauce. So basically, you're making boom kit noodles? No? Yeah, pretty much the same thing. I mean, boom kit cag. Boom cag Boom cag Okay, that. And then. Some of the fish, oh. some of the onions, oh. just some of the veggies that are in here. Just throw it in there and then eat it. You eat it. So you go like this, right? It's like a salad. Bite it. A stink sauce salad. That's it. Wow. Just like that. Oh wow. The other way that I have learned that if you don't like this, you could also potentially use a lettuce to make a wrapper. And uh, it's because there's some people that don't like that. I think most people that don't like it, they have like old spring rolls that have been sitting out for a long time, so like it gets hard and of course you don't like that because it's not good. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you can take it like this. You get all the fish like this. All this stuff. And you basically just make a big hot mess inside some lettuce. 
Or it could be a, a nice mess. And then, let me see if I can wrap this up. Whoa, that's a lot of stuff there. Too many things. <laughs> Oh wow. You make a lettuce wrap with all the fixings inside. It's like a salad in my hand with stank sauce dressing. It's actually really good like this too. Something about wrapping it up, I just like it a lot. Me too. I think it's because you're wrapping it up so you get a little bit of all the flavors at once. All the textures at once, whereas this, you get a little bit of noodles, you get a little bit of herbs, and you get a little bit of this. Still good, especially when you're really hungry and you don't want to wrap things up. But you're trying to slow your roll down and you're trying to eat less. Wrapping it up like how Vince just did it will slow you down so you would eat less. In, oh, in it between, takes too much time. It takes too much time, so oh. you get a little bit fuller. That, that communication between stomach and brain. Oh. Sorry. Is this like a nutrition tutorial? Suddenly. Well, that was amazing. So we have lots of leftovers. Mm -hmm. I asked him, can I have a small box? And he looked at it and he's like, you can need a big box. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we and got a was right. big box of spring rolls, which we handcrafted to our liking. And um, yeah, we would highly recommend this place if you mm -hmm. guys are interested in trying this dish. There's a couple, actually, there, I think there's a bunch of places. We're out here in Westminster where Area. it's like Vietnam Central. <laughs> So uh, there's actually a bunch of other places that make this, um, which are probably comparably good. So check them out. Check out this place if you want a good place to start. What's what's the dish called? Jaga Thang Long. Yes. How do you say Something it? Something like that. Jaga. Mm -hmm. Jaga Thang. Thang. It's either Thang or Thang. Thang. You know, I never really learned how to read Vietnamese. Oh. So I don't know. And they don't say it themselves, they just say Jackat. Oh, Jackat. Yeah. All right. So they don't say the full name. Well, or you could say Dill, Dill fish, fish, which I call it. Yeah, that now, be From now on, I'm going to call it Jackat Tang Lang. Jackat Tang Lang. Jackat Tang Lang. Sure. <laughs> Anyways, we shall see you guys next time on our next food adventure. Peace!